Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Good All's Country Kitchen. We're down here on Frankfurt Avenue corridor of Crescent Hill. We're at Red Hog Restaurant and Butcher Shop. Yeah. Okay. My friend here, Bill Perkins, he's with JCPS, principal yeah. of Wilder Elementary. Elementary. Yeah. Come on through. You're not hurting anything. Yeah. yeah. I see you on YouTube. Well, I appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate yeah, I you following. You. You're yeah. going to see us again on, uh, I guess, Monday. This will come out. Yeah. On Monday? Yeah, this will be Monday's upload. There you go, a little Hi, photo YouTube. bomb action. I appreciate the support. All right. So anyway, Bill, Bill and I have been wanting to come here for a long time. I've never been here before. Bill has. I'm going to let him tell you why. But before we get going on that, i got to do a couple shout outs. Uh, first of all, my dad's doing really well. Thank you for the continued prayers. Kyle Whitmer that I told you about the last couple videos. He's home from the hospital and he's doing a lot better. And stay tuned because he's actually going to be on a review with me here in about two weeks once he gets his sea legs under him. Also, Melissa and I went out last night. We were going to catch a show, but we it was a date night with two other couples. We went to Lulu on Market. I wasn't even going to do a review, but as I started getting into the food, it was so good. So I started doing a couple little video clips, thinking I was going to do a YouTube short, but then... I kept eating more food, different kinds of dishes. So the footage, it's going to be a short video, but it's too much for a YouTube short. So make sure you tune in for that. That'll probably be coming out sometime mid or late next week. And last but not least, Bill North continues with his generosity towards my channel. And also this time he sent me pictures of his cute little dogs. So if you've got some pups and you got some cute dog pictures, I encourage you to send them to me and you could end up on YouTube. All right, so Bill, back yeah. to uh, yeah. Red Hog. Yeah. Tell me what it is that you demand I come here for. Well, one of the great things about right here is, besides the butcher shop, uh, where you can get just some tremendous meats that they have inside, their cheeseburger is just second to none right here. One of my favorite things to have, and I'm looking forward to having it today. Before I get into it though, tell me what it is that sets it apart from everybody else. Just the taste and, and texture and whole nine yards. It's just, uh, it's, it's one, of, one of the best ones I've had here recently in town. But Okay, all right. Well, we just uh, talked to the butcher a minute ago. Yeah. He's gonna actually let us go behind the scenes, see the smoker, kind of see some of the operations. So I'm gonna show you that before we actually order, because I want to make sure I order correctly. You know I'm going to get more than just a cheeseburger. Oh, and this could be an interesting review, because I was flossing my teeth before I got here, and I actually pulled out a crown off of one of my back molars. So if I end up biting into something sharp, you might see something that's going to make us go viral today. I uh, hope not. I'm the butcher and pitmaster here. Uh, this is our Lang 108. This is our Lang 84. And today we got two things on there. Oh yeah. We got half chickens on the bottom. Those are our dinner half chickens. I'll open up the other side. We got bunch briskets. Of what are these round things up here? Oh, Ooh, some kind of squash. Nice. What do you think those are? That's some kind of squash. I know that. Yep, yep. Those are squash up top. And these are all pastrami's. Oh my goodness. And then. <laughs> This is all lamb neck, which I pull for our Western Kentucky lamb barbecue, and I make lamb hash out of that also. Whoa. Yep. Uh, Bill, I don't know. I mean, uh, the pastrami looks about unbelievable. Cheeseburger, but I'm going to get the cheeseburger, <laughs> but this just expanded my ordering. Yeah, I'm tell absolutely, you that. man. All right. Well, I appreciate you taking yeah, the time. Yeah, I appreciate you coming by, Barry. This and is cool, yeah. How long you been here? I've been here... It'll be like six years in a month. I've been here a long time, man. Okay, yeah. so they're keeping you a, happy. That's yeah, good. Yeah, started as a complete apprentice, and... 
now I do all the whole animal butchery and teach butchery classes and run the barbecue program and yeah, I, I, I came up here. I love this place. That's and like I've always said, if you go to a place that proclaims they got barbecue and you don't see a stack of wood or smoke coming out the back of the restaurant, <laughs> keep the car going because it's not real barbecue. We are really getting so we got, these are our good tour. These are ready to ferment. These are all our summer sausages ready to ferment. Uh, lamb merguez sausage ready to ferment. Uh, we got half a beef carcass hanging in the back. And then all of our dry aging happens right behind you. We dry age all our bone ribeyes in house, tomahawks, porterhouses. This is incredible. It smells unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is where we call meat guardian. Our, our hidden meat room. Man, this is like Fort Knox getting in this one. It is. Nobody knows this is back here. It's like Al Capone's <laughs> secret chamber they're taking me into. This is our carry room. Go in there. Smell that. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, they got Capicola. Yep. Woo! Well, I know what I'm getting for my second order. I'm going to get some kind of New York style hero sandwich. Oh, yeah. Homemade Capicola and sausage. I'm going to not get a sandwich. I'm getting a sanguich. You are, man. Oh, you know, yeah. All this stuff's on the Fat Tony. I would recommend yep. getting the Fat Tony. Definitely. The charcuterie comes out on that sandwich. All right. There we go. So, sauce on. This is like a. An indoor smoker sensor, but it does everything. It'll steam, it'll roast, it'll smoke. Um, it'll cook our sausages all the way through overnight and then cool them down so they're ready for us to get them in the morning. But Oh, oh that smoke just that's, that's hit me in the face. Like Pumpkin garlic sausage. <laughs> this is too much. Pretty cool. Oh, absolutely. I really appreciate yeah, you uh, sure. I'll letting me back see out. that. All course, right. I was on cool. my way out here to the table. And somebody it's holler my name, in. I look over, and they say, hey, we love your show. We're good on fans. I oh. really appreciate that. What's your name, sir? Uh, Tony Thompson. Tony I'm Thompson? Tiana. Tiana? And, Boca. and where do you go to high school? I go to middle school. Oh, middle school. Okay, where do you go to middle school? In Ohio. Yeah. Oh, y'all not from here? Oh, we are. We are. Yeah, she's, yeah. Okay. She's in Columbus. All right. I really appreciate you supporting my channel and watching and everything. Yeah. So, have you been here before? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to love it. You're gonna like this it. is actually my first try. My friend Bill brought me here, okay. and I just got the grand tour of the butcher shop yeah. and the smokers. You won't believe yes. the, what they have yeah. going on back here. Unbelievable. Yeah. I'm really looking forward yes, to this. You're going to love it, man. All right. Well, thanks for giving me a holler. Uh, okay. Like I said, I really appreciate the support. Yeah. All right. You know, I was like show you around the place this is a lot more than what i was expecting i gotta tell you that this courtyard is awesome i was just expecting like a little deli but more wood as you see got a lot of outdoor seating they got uncovered and covered seating and looks like char grill action deep frying Food's made right in front of you, so you know they ain't got nothing to hide. All the finest Kentucky bourbons. <laughs> Looks like they might be on that, that bourbon trail or something here. And it says Red Hog Restaurant and Butcher Shop. So you already saw the behind the scenes, the cured meats and everything. This is where it all ends up. Right here, they got the spices to go along with it. All that sausage that we saw back there. Look at that. Mortadella, Italian bologna. This, I had no idea they had all this going on here. And then of course they have accessories, cheeses, soups. This is incredible. And look at that. A whole wall full of other things that you can purchase retail. All right, Dustin was gracious enough to let us try a few things out, and he was telling us what they were. They're all made in-house except for one item, and he'll tell you about that, but once he went through, I said, there's no way I could give it justice. <laughs> Dustin, will you please go through and tell us once again what yeah, all Yeah, absolutely. Is. So this first one's Saucy Saucisson de Paris, which is a confit garlic pork sausage. It's smoked and then steamed. This is salami cotto, which is an Italian cooked 
uh, hard salami um, that is very similar in taste to pepperoni. Uh, just large diameter instead of small diameter like a pepperoni normally is. This is Genoa salami. It's a black peppercorn Italian salami, one of the original salamis of Italy. This is summer sausage, your southern tried and true hunter venison favorite. We just do ours with beef and pork. Um, this is Broadbent's heritage ham. It's the only thing that we don't make in house that we carry. Um, it's essentially a redneck version of prosciutto. They win the state fair every single year with their ham for this exact ham and we love what they're doing so we carry that. Um, redneck version? It's the redneck version of prosciutto. Okay, yeah. well, I should have my picture on Oh, you're going to love it. Uh, it's one of my favorite products. Uh, this is Brizola, which is a cured beef eye of round. It's the only whole muscle beef charcuterie that we that we cure in-house. Um, and then this is Soprasada, which is one of the original salamis, and that is just salt, pork, and pork fat, so you can really taste the quality of pigs that we're using. Um, <laughs> People uh, all, in Louisville don't know nothing about that Soprasetta. They don't know nothing about Soprasetta, <laughs> no. And all, all these all those pork products come from 3D Valley Farms um, over right over the right over the bridge. And then the last one is Spec, which is a cured pork sirloin that we cold smoke for about three days before dry curing and hanging for two and a half to three months. Uh, I really appreciate that. Yeah, Dustin. absolutely, Barry, man. Y'all uh, enjoy. Let me know what you think. I could study that for a thousand years. I could have never have gone over That's it. Like it took that. me a while too. Yeah. <laughs> it takes even longer to learn how to make it. Now, Bill's a lot more knowledgeable on these, uh, you know, imported Italian meats than I am. I just know how to eat them really. Yeah, good. absolutely. All right. Well, thanks well, a lot. Yeah, you'll enjoy lunch. All right. So we don't have any plates or anything, but that really doesn't matter. This is what I consider right finger off the board. food. Right off the board. I'm going to stir away from that salami because I could just see one of those peppercorns going right into that back molar. I my, had this, I uh, had my eye on the spec for a while, right. so I'm going to try that. Mm. This is the summer sausage, I do remember that. I love summer sausage, and you know, we're in Kentucky, everybody's like, oh, I make the best venison, blah, 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 blah. I've had it any way you can cook it, and I've never liked it, but the only way I can eat venison is if it's made into a summer sausage. Mm. What are these red things, Bill? Do you know? I don't know if those are peppers or. Uh, well, if they're peppers, I don't know. See how they. Uh, yeah. See how they taste there. It's some kind of pickled pepper of some sort. The meats are just unbelievable here. You can tell they just take such pride in what they do. Um, Sorry, Bill. I didn't mean to like, great. take the whole slice there. Oh, but. that's all right. Mm. Here we go. Since you're an Italian meat specialist, this is our in-house mortadella. It's a pistachio and black peppercorn mortadella. I love that mortadella. Those big fat chunks. Yeah. Love it. Can't get enough fat. Mmm. <laughs> I like when I get liver cheese sandwiches and go somewhere. And somebody always says, you want me to take that fat ring off? I'm like, are you crazy? Just so good. I don't know anybody that has that good a mortadella in town outside of here. Mm -hmm. Maybe there is, but. You know what's weird? Special. You can't hardly find mortadella in any of the grocery stores. No. People around Louisville don't know nothing about it. I didn't know nothing about it until I started going east. And Sopaceta. Mm. Delicious. And uh, Kata Salami, is that what this? I think so, yeah. That's got, looks like it's got a little spice to it. Did you say those were peppers on there? Yeah, they're not hot though. Okay. I promise. I always say that to people and then they look at me with their smoke coming out their ears, but no, that's not hot. Really good. I like that redneck country ham or whatever he was saying. Really good. Did you have one of these yet? Oh yeah, specs. Unbelievable. That's the first thing like I was looking at when they when they brought it out here. Now, is this their version of uh, prosciutto, or it, was that the prosciutto? It, I think uh, I think that was. Um, but he mentioned something about that being an extra, uh, like cut and aged a little bit longer. Mm. Uh, so. I think I haven't tried yet. I think. 
And what was this one? He said something like it came from uh, muscle, age, uh, what I got, but I didn't I didn't remember what he said it was. The only time I had something look like this was I used to work with a Bosnian fella, and most of them are Muslim, and they don't eat pork. Yeah. So he said this is called Bosnian prosciutto. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, the big thing is how does it taste? <laughs> It's amazing. Really thing. good. Yeah. Really good. All right. I got a feeling this is going to be a really long video. So be patient. Sit back. Because we got a lot of territory to cover here. Now a word from my sponsor. Hi, I'm Lisa George, your Kentucky Realtor. And thank you, Barry, for making me a part of this today. Uh, recently, I was asked, so what sets you apart from all the other realtors? And my gut reaction was, I take care of my people. I always put my heart and soul into helping all of my people like they're my family. So, you know, buying a house, it, it's a big deal. And I take it very seriously. It's personal, but it doesn't have to be complicated. So if you're looking to buy or sell a house, I'm your girl. I will make sure to fight for you and get you everything you want. So just call me, 502-836-3100. All right, so Bill's gonna go first. And the one thing I didn't realize, what, one thing he was telling me that I didn't pay attention to is it's dry aged beef. So that's one of the things that sets it apart. Go ahead, Bill. Tell me, uh, give me a little description there. Well, it looks like it's got some onions. It's got pickles, uh, of course, the, the beef and American cheese. And then, of course, they've got some the shoestring cut fries. You uh, can tell those are homemade. That uh, I'm going to go ahead. I, got, I can't wait. I'm going to go ahead. Mm. Fries are delicious. Right amount of salt. Not too greasy. Good flavor. Now I'm going to try the burger. Like burger. He did the single Captain Quint yeah, bite on there. Me I have ah, he went in and did like a, a snapping turtle and a half. We'll give him. Look at that. Incredible coat. And it looks like they cooked it medium. Perfectly cooked. Very well cooked. The nice thing about it too is with some burgers like yep. this, it's got a lot of juice and flavor. And sometimes the buns don't hold up. This one, the bun's real tight, held together well, seasoned perfectly, burger, great vegetables on it. Just delicious. Homemade pickles too. You know, I'm just amazed that I haven't had more people telling me to come here. This, everything right now is just on all right, so I told you I was getting more than just the cheeseburger. I've already ordered that, but I had to get the Fat Tony, which has that cotto salami, which is that spicy salami. It's got city ham and mortadella. The Italian bologna with the fat chunks of it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half. Because I'm not gonna sit here and eat this whole thing until I eat this cheeseburger. I did a baby double because I'm not going to use this side of my mouth. I'm going to tread lightly and be careful. The vegetables are crunchy. It's got some shredded lettuce, hot pepper, tapenada, and onion. Okay. Mm. The bread is incredible. That's probably a sourdough. Doesn't it look like sourdough to you, Bill? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Everything about this sandwich is incredible. If there's a better Italian sandwich here in Louisville, I want to know about it. I'll be right back. All right, so that looks so good. Bill had to get a piece of that himself. Mm. Isn't that bread? The flavor is just a, unbelievable. And the bread has a sponginess that does it holds up real well for the sandwich. 
and uh, just so many flavors going on through it. I know it's it. amazing. What makes it really tops it off is that uh, the hot pepper tapanada. It's, yeah. it's really fresh too. The meats are mm -hmm. real fresh, just delicious. All right, so like I said, I'm throwing out a challenge. Anybody in town that has been here and had this sandwich, you tell me where there's a better Italian sandwich, and I promise you I'm going. All right. And this looks really good. Let's do it. Got the pickle and onion. Old school, just like I like it. That's the old way, pickle and onion. Uh, looks like it has some kind of aioli. I'll have to look and see what that is. But like Bill did, these fries look so good. Mmm. Incredible. All right, and this bun, I don't know what kind of bun that is, but I wouldn't be surprised if they make that here either. All right, I'm trying to control. Don't want to go off here. Mm. That has, you're right, Bill. The flavor in this is different and stands apart from any burger you're gonna have in Louisville. I'm not gonna sit there and say it's the best because everybody has their own subjective opinions. But this is different. This is a whole different uh, classification of burger, I guess I'd wanna say. Does it, they, uh, do they smoke these burgers, Bill? Well, I know that they said they're dry aged and all that. Well, I'm, you know, I'm tasting uh, a little smoke. The thing that's nice too is, is the bun. You, know, you have a lot of hamburgers. The bun falls apart yeah. on you. It splits. That one holds together real nice. It does. And look uh, how airy it is. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's homemade, whether it's here or down the street at a bakery. And by the way, they used to own Blue Dog Bakery, so it could come from whoever now owns Blue Dog. I don't even know which one that is. I'm not sure, but really good. All right. And that pickle and onion just makes it perfect. All right. Mm. All right, Bill. Now I've told about my burger, and now you're continuing on. Go ahead. Well, you know, one of the things that I think that really makes this special, too, is the way with the juices and everything else, the bun holds together. And a lot of these hamburgers you have today that are really good like these, the bun doesn't hold up, it splits, it falls apart. Also, they've got uh, homemade pickles in here and the pickles that are on this burger are just so good. Um, so the fries are special too, mm -hmm. really good. All right, we have Dustin once again. You know, it's called Red Hog Restaurant Butcher Shop. It wouldn't be proper to leave out of here without letting Dustin tell us about his butcher area here and the services that yeah, they have to offer. Good. Definitely a nice, uh, I wouldn't say high-end, but a, definitely a specialty butcher shop in Delhi. Go ahead and yeah, so we're Louisville's only whole animal local butchery. Um, everything we get in comes in as whole animals um, or primal, um, and everything comes within 100 miles of Louisville. It's something we really take pride in. Uh, you look on the wall, everything, that all of our meats and cheeses that we get, uh, like I said, all within 100 miles, you can look up the farm and look up the town that they came from if you want to look them up on on, uh, on the internet yourself. Uh, like I said, we are a custom butcher shop, so we do have a lot of cuts in the case that you don't normally see in your own like, grocery store or retail butcher shop. Um, but like uh, Barry said, we're a specialty shop too, so if you have any special cuts or something wild and crazy you've seen on the internet that you want to try and you can't find it anywhere else, definitely give us a call. We can make that happen for y'all. I really appreciate your time. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Barry. Wonderful experience. Thanks so much. Man. Why didn't you tell me about this before, Bill? All right. This review was something special. On our way out, they even gave me a, a bag of their homemade jerky. Not only do they do, do meat sausages, they make jerky too. Sweet, hot beef jerky. The buns. We want to talk about the buns we were talking about on the, on the we found out more on that. What well, you can purchase them right here in the, uh, in the butcher shop, among other things uh, that they make here. And uh, they come from the old Blue Dog Bakery that they used to own, the owners here used to own Blue Dog. And so you can purchase them right here when you're in the, uh, in the butchery shop. Right, and of course, you know, 
Dustin was gracious enough to tell us, gave us the grand tour. That's like the best tour of any of the restaurants I've ever reviewed. The, everything was great. The, the service was wonderful. The food was off the chain. The, the patrons, we were cutting up with them, talking to them. I mean, we've been here for probably two and a half, three hours. Yeah, everybody Just, should do themselves a favor and come over for dinner or lunch. Uh, and get something off the menu. Everything is terrific. Like we had a hard time just sorting out what we wanted, um, but it's a great atmosphere, great people, and also you can pick up steaks for your grill this summer or other meats uh, in the butchery shop. Yeah, you well. you saw those those meats aging back there in the coolers. So this is the real deal butcher shop, you know. So. Anything else, Bill? No, just uh, appreciate the opportunity uh, being on your uh, show today, Barry. You know, uh, I appreciate what you do for uh, small businesses, particularly small businesses that are restaurants uh, that need our support uh, every day to make our city a better place. So it's a great opportunity. I'm a big fan of your show, and uh, I enjoy being being on today. Okay. Well, I really appreciate that too, Bill. Appreciate you coming. Yep. And as I mentioned about that Lulu on market. That should be coming out Wednesday. Be ready for that. It's a cute little four-minute video. I think you'll enjoy it. It's not typical of my regular review. So stick around for that. Also, you might not have noticed, you might have, I didn't even pull out the Saved by Grace on this one. It actually slipped my mind. The flavors were, there was so much going on there, I actually forgot to accentuate it with Grace. I'll bring that next time when I come for dinner. All right, everything was awesome. And all right, Bill, what do you got to say? Y'all don't know nothing about this Red Hog Butcher and Restaurant. All right. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back.